two, one. Welcome into this week's edition of Sports Shorts here at JacksonSun.com. I am high school sports writer Michael Odom, along with fellow high school sports writer Luis Torres. And uh, we are here to debate this week on whether or not Haywood should still be number one in the Dirty Dozen after losing to Briarcrest by one point Friday night of week four. Well, I'm on the boat that they should still be num on number one in the Dirty Dozen. They've fallen all the way to number three. Granted, I, I, they should still be number one. You know why? Because they lost by one point to an undefeated Memphis Briarcrest team. And it was on a two-point conversion, no less. I mean, that's a tough, that, that's a tough uh, take for them to drop all the way to number three. They should still be number one. All they had to do was stop them on that two-point conversion, and it, it would be a problem. They'd still be number one. But from my vantage point, what is Huntington, was Haywood that far ahead of Huntington and Crockett to say that those two undefeated teams are still behind Haywood? I'd say yes. I think uh, Haywood's been the best team so far uh, this year, and it's hard, it's tough to move them down two slots just because they lost on a two-point conversion. Yes, they probably should have stopped it, but guess what? Things happen. It's football. You never know what's going to happen on every single play. So, But, I mean, Huntington's done everything as for them. Cade Pearson's been out there dominating on both sides of the ball. You've got Crockett County, who's, you know, putting good teams away. I, I think those two both have a legitimate shot at saying that they're number one in uh, the area. Well, the debate continues. Make sure to re uh, keep reading up on the JacksonSun.com. Give us your thoughts. Uh, and thanks for tuning in for this week's Sports Short. Mm -hmm.